hello, hello. My name is Callista, and welcome to the Blackwell Epiphany, the fifth and final installment of the Blackwell franchise. I am so excited, so intrigued to see just how this series ends. I know that at the end of Deception, Rosa said that she wanted to try and investigate the psychic cults that had kind of infected New York City. I'm not entirely sure if the game is going to follow through on that. I could see it going either way, you know, either we follow through on that plotline or we go in a completely different direction. I'd be happy with either, personally. My two main hopes for Epiphany are, one, I want to know more about Joey. This series has gone out of its way to say how unique Joey is, how special, how there is something not quite right about him. And Madeline, she actually asked him, weren't you taught, taught anything when you became a spirit guide? Which to me indicates there is some kind of teaching process for ghosts who become guides. And Joey never went through that. He said that he died and woke up with Patricia. It was a very quick like, boom, I'm dead. Oh, I'm a guide now. He had no training whatsoever. And I find that very intriguing. The second thing I want, or rather that I'm worried about, I'm worried about Rosa. I am very concerned for her. Something she said at the end of Deception, this is supposed to be fulfilling. Helping ghosts pass on and helping them come to terms with this stuff, it's supposed to be fulfilling. Yet I'm not fulfilled. I feel empty and hollow on the inside. And that concerns me because that really reminds me of Lauren. Lauren showed signs of, I, I don't know if I want to say clinical depression, but she certainly wasn't happy. She talked about how she wondered if she would ever feel anything again. She had seen so much that nothing really seemed to move her anymore. And at the end of the game, when Joey kind of late, you know, he was wearing his heart on his sleeve and he was saying, I'll always be there for you. I'll always be watching over you. Isn't, isn't that enough, Lauren? Lauren really didn't say much. She was just kind of like, whatever, sure, I guess. So I'm, I'm really hoping that Rosa doesn't end up like Lauren. My boyfriend, he actually had a theory on how he thinks this is going to end. He thinks that the last ghost that we are going to see through the light is Joey. That we are going to help Joey to move on and that's how this is going to end. And I, I wouldn't necessarily say I agree with that theory. It's a good theory. It's possible. It might happen. I'm kind of keeping an open mind. But if that is the case, I do kind of think that would be the best move for Rosa. To cease being a medium. I think if she did that, she could find some stability and normalcy and happiness in her life. I, I'm really not too sure though. Like I said, I'm very excited. So let's jump straight into new game. Your teeth are chattering. No, they're not. It's him. Detective Durkin, I'm here. Are you on your way? Yeah, sorry about that. I've got a lot of paperwork piled up. I won't be able to make it. What? I've been waiting here a half hour. You there? Good. Take a look around and let me know if you find anything. Take a look around? For what? You know the deal. I can't tell you. <sighs> yeah, I know. We'll pay you the usual rate. Talk to you soon. He stood you up again? Yep. Well, he's paying us to check out this dump, so let's get started. Left click on objects to interact with them, right click on objects to look at them. Okay, so I, I did say I hoped that Detective Durkin would come back for the final game because I am kind of shipping him and Rosa. I didn't expect that Rosa would have started working for him. 
That's interesting. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look around. It's a fire hydrant, probably frozen solid. Inviting restaurant. Shame they don't have coffee to go. I'm running low. Okay. Uh, we can still switch between Rosa and Joey. We have our coffee. Oh, I want to check my emails. Jay Leder, Miss Blackwell, I am representing Hannah Sharp in her divorce trial. It is my understanding that you are aware of her husband's affair. Please contact me at your earliest convenience. Jay Leder, M R Y Law, Murray Law, Mary Law. I don't know. Um, Hannah Sharp. Ken Sharp. That was it. Cecil Sharp's son. Oh! Hannah found out about the affair with um, Tiffany Walters. Okay, and she's divorcing him. Good for her. Good for you, love. Seb Frederick. This was Jamie Graham's boyfriend. Are you the lady I spoke to at Monray's last year? Last year. Okay. I looked you up. Spiritual consultant. Really? I don't know what you did back then, but you'd better stay away from Columbia for a while. They caught you on security camera poking in Jamie's room. God damn it. Okay, we Rosa has a lot of trouble being stealthy. Undisclosed. For all networking and security needs, contact Tomo. Who is Tomo? This, this has been going on since the first game. Just who or what is Tomo? Uh, Jay Leder again. Uh, thanks, but I'd really prefer not to be involved. Sorry, Rosangela Blackwell. He responds, Miss Blackwell, understood. Thank you for your time. J. Leder, M.R.Y. Law. Sam Durkin. Hey, something's come up that might be up your alley. Come meet me at the Carth House, corner of Horatio and Greenwich, 7pm. You can't miss it, the place is a wreck. Usual deal applies, I'll fill you in there. S.D. Okay. Good to know. Anything else? Uh, ooh. Horatio Street. Totally deserted. No parking from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, we have some trash. Just an old trash bag. Looks like it's been there for a while. Oh, God. I'm, I'm sorry about this, Rosa. It's just full of old trash. Nothing useful. Ugh. Uh, the door? The door isn't in terribly good shape, but it's solid enough to keep me out. Okay. It says Carth House, under all the graffiti anyway. This is where Durkin told us to meet him. Anything else? Uh, bricks? Ooh. Reclaim, revolt, reject, rebuke, retaliate. Reclaim. Revolt. Rebuke. Reject. Retaliate. And the anarchist symbol. Okay, um, I I don't know what this is, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. Locked, of course. Of course. Switch characters by using the tab key or by using the buttons on the main menu. I like to use the buttons. Joey still has his uh, wind and tie abilities. All right, I'm going in. Try and stay warm. I'll do my best. Hmm. Hello? Anybody there? Anything? Not yet. Let me look around a bit. I'll get back to you. Well, this place looks grim. Jeez. I'm no electrician, but it looks like a fuse box. Okay. Notice. Getting way too hot here, but stay if you wanna. I left the key. Check the stairs. Okay. Okie doke. I can remember that. It's the elevator. And a window. And a ramshackle. I guess security isn't this building's top priority. Yeah, this this place just looks so grim. Full of food wrappers and old needles, not much else. Ooh, oh god, we've... Sam's got us in a crack den. Great, thanks, Durkin. It's coated with all sorts of stuff. None of it nice. Ooh. More painted junk. It leads to a stairwell. Okay. And, oh, there's a board. An old rotting wooden board. Okay. Let's head on through. Hmm. Anything? Doesn't appear to be. Oh! Huh? Hello? Hey, get back here! Hmm, 
Okay, we got a lady, it seems. Jesus, what's holding this dump together? Rubber cement? Flipping it, like the the corner of the building is just gone. Jeez. Looks like a wrecking ball hit it. Come to think of it, that's probably what happened. I was gonna say, is this building partway through being, you know, destroyed or? Looks like a box of old electrical junk. Okay, and more graffiti. Okay. People revolt, reclaim, retaliate, rebuke, reject. We won't retaliate. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. I can remember that. And can we... Bunch of junk fell here when the floor above collapsed. I was gonna say, can we get up to her? Ugh. I can't make it any further. I'm too far from red. If I want to get up there, I need to get her closer. Got it. Okay. Um, first things first, though. Can we go through this door? Anything through here. Oh, jeez. Whoever used this thing probably didn't care much for privacy. Oh, that... This is quite some view, though. The view's pretty nice, but it's a shame about the rest of the place. Yeah, damn. This side of the newspaper just shows a bunch of ads. Okay. An empty bottle. Looks like it used to be full of cheap booze. Anything. There's nothing on the shelves. The elevator, such as it is. Okay. Let's, let's head back down to Rosa. Retaliate. The key is in retaliate. Well, we definitely got a spook. We do? A woman. Only got a brief look at her before she buzzed off. Why didn't you go after her? She's too far away. We need to get you inside to bring her within range. Fine, let's hurry then. It's freezing out here. Okie doke. Rosa, can you try and get the brick out? We won't retaliate. This brick is definitely hollow, but the ice around it is so thick, I can't pull it loose. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, girl. You're going to have to sacrifice your coffee. The cost of this coffee is so going on my expense report. There, it's melted. I better do whatever I need to do before it freezes again. There we go. I don't know if it's going to necessarily be it any fits. warmer in there, but at least you'll be out of the snow. Hmm. Nice place, huh? It has its charm, I guess. Yeah, it's got something all right. Come on, we have a spook to chat up. I would like it noted that I do not like the creepy music in here. It, ugh, no. Oh, there's a little rat. Hello, friendo. Um, the fuse box? I'm guessing it's a fuse box. How's this look? Hmm. The fuse seems fine. I shouldn't mess with it. We have the basement lobby, floor two, floor three, floor four, and power, the power's off. There we go. Ugh. Oh! Well, that didn't work. Oh dear, are they... The fuse looks like yeah. it shorted out. Yeah, they're properly broken. Okay. I really hope we get paid for this job. Otherwise, this could be our future home. Well, everyone already thinks you're crazy. Homeless is just the next obvious step. Thanks. It's an old desk. It's been exposed to the elements for so long it's falling apart. Look at that mattress. You think people slept on that? The people who slept here weren't exactly spoiled for choice. Uh, Joey already looked at the notice, so that's fine. They prevent people from getting in, but that's about it. Whoever put these up probably didn't have insulation in mind. Mm. Still snowing. I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. Well, it's not like we're going anywhere. Oh, I... T I, I feel so sorry for the people who are having to live here. It's full of old newspapers, candy wrappers, and used syringes. Let's let's not touch that. Let's not. It's covered in grime, dust, and is that blood? Oh, well, that's that's bad juju. That's ominous. Oh, well, that's handy. I'm glad that's finally been implemented. Okay. Didn't did Joey say there was electrical electrical equipment in here? 
It's full of old electrical equipment, not exactly the best place for it. Old cables, frayed wires, a fried circuit board. Hmm, there's an old fuse at the bottom of the pile. Looks intact. Okay. So if, if we want to use the fuse box again, we can. I think that fell from the floor above. I see why this place was condemned. Mm. Oh, and what do you think about the open air toilet? I guess that was a bathroom before whatever happened, happened. I'd admire the view if it wasn't so damn cold. Mm. Okay, what does this say? The City Post. Late, excuse me, late city final. Uh, apparently this cost uh, 25 cents. Okay. Wednesday, December 12th, 2012. Weather page 24. Drug raid reveals more than drugs. Police raided a Chelsea tenement last night and uncovered 10 pounds of heroin and $100,000 in cash. But what the police also uncovered is much more shocking. The tenement, condemned for years and exposed to the elements, was home to several drug users and transients who had been living on the premises. They were half starved, wearing rags and freezing to death, but they didn't care. Officer Leo Piero, who led the raid, said, they were so far gone. The body of an unidentified woman was also discovered. She was just lying there, Piero went on to say, surrounded by a bunch of other addicts. None of them seemed to notice. They probably would have all joined her before too long. Oh, that. Again, that's so sad. Okay, and the bottle? It's stuck to the floor. That's just as well. I probably don't need it. Okay. Gotcha. Well, then, now that we're up here... Uh, Joey? Joey, where are you? You bellowed. Nice. Uh, Joey! Look at the state of this place. You think it's safe? Dozens of homeless people were living here not too long ago. If it was safe for them, it should be safe for us. And by us, I obviously mean me. Yeah. Uh, Joey, if you don't mind. Hello. I guess if you have to haunt a place, you can't beat a room with a view. Oh, there's someone in that one, though. Hmm. wonder what they're doing. Um, we have a plastic thing. It's a piece of black plastic with a metal bit on the end. I have no idea what it is. Okay. She looks pale and strung out. It's hard to place her age. Could be anywhere between 20 and 40. She's also shivering and scratching her arms. I know the dead can't feel the cold, but something is definitely giving her the shakes. Yeah, uh, heroin will do that to you. Hello? Hey. Oh, you're not. Not what? Just not. Were you expecting someone else? Someone. Could you tell me who it was? Maybe I can help look for him. No, he'll be here. So, I'm Joey. What's your name? I don't know. Mary? Your name is Mary? Sure. Look, this is no place to be during a blizzard. It's fine. It fits. Fits? Fits how? It fits. Mary, could you tell me the last thing you remember? How'd you end up here? I... I was here. And before that? The words... the... no, that's not... Not what? How it works. Hmm, she seems kind of confused. Yeah, I, do, I don't think we're going to be able to convince her to leave. We need to jog her memory somehow. So how'd you end up in a dump like this? It's a place. Yeah, it's a place. One that's fallen apart. You shouldn't be here. No place else to go. Can't go home. Depends where home is. Where are you from? Here, nowhere, in front, in back. Doesn't matter. I fit here. Are you familiar with a cop named Sam Durkin? He's a detective. Kin? Durkin? No, don't know. Okay. So I heard there was some police action here recently. What are you talking about? The cops. I heard they raided this place. Why would the police bother coming here? That's the whole point. What point would that be? Oh, forget it. 
the point is that this place is so beneath the, the police radar that you're kind of free to do whatever you want. So, Mary, was it? Uh-huh. Mary who? It doesn't matter. I'm just Mary. Okay. Okay. I have to get going. Take care of yourself, Mary. Let's let's just try and get her someplace safe. I was gonna say, can we can we blow this thing? Okay, not the way I thought he was gonna blow it. I thought he was either gonna blow it out or towards the door so that Rosa could get it. Okay. We can use the fuse to open up the elevator. Joey can blow it through. Um. Oh god, what would that be? This is the lobby. So we want floor Good three. Good thing I'm wearing gloves. And then... Something must have shorted. It's stuck in the on position. Okay. Uh, Joey? Yep. You can blow that down. There we go. Rosa, now then... Put that onto the lobby. Oh, it's stuck halfway, so we want... We want floor two. Okay. Now then, what is this thing? Memory stick. Okay. It's definitely some kind of memory card. And it looks like it's compatible with my phone. Hmm. One photo found. Hey, you find something? I think so. Take a look at this photo. Oh. Is this her? The ghost, I mean. Yeah, sorta. She looks a lot better in that photo, I'll tell you that much. Look at the file name. This was a headshot photo. I guess she was an actress. Could be. You wouldn't know it from looking at her. The spook upstairs looks like life chewed her up and spat her back out. She she looked like a um like a very pretty girl. Like drugs drugs can really, really fuck you up. Um it said the Gotham Collective. The Gotham Collective. What's this? City Theatre Community Board. It is with a heavy heart that we announce that the Gotham Collective Theatre Company is closing its doors. It has been our absolute pleasure to entertain you for the last four years. What a ride! For information on our past performances, please download this file. Cast and crew. Okay. Uh, there must be hundreds of names on this list. I'll never find what I'm looking for just by reading it. I'll just save a copy to my notes app. Hopefully I can find something to cross-reference it with. Yeah, we can, uh... Click on one clue and then another to combine them. Rosa will try to draw a connection between them and some... Okay, okay then. Yeah, we can connect Mary to this. If Mary was a member of the Gotham Collective Theatre Group, she's probably on this cast list. Gotcha. There's only one Mary who was a cast member. Mary Meehan, who was a cast member of a play called The River Wall. Okay. Let's see, can we can we find the performance? City Post Theatre Desk, The River Wall, a review. You'd think one would be jaded after so many vanity projects by the Gotham Collective, but the River Wall, based on the 1923 short story, has finally taken it one step too far. Setting aside the non-existent direction and the lackluster set, excuse me, and the lackluster set design, both of which can be forgiven due to the low-budget nature of the production, nothing can forgive the choice of casting Mary Meehan in the lead role of Pamela. Oh dear. Displaying all the signs of an actress who took theatre way too seriously in high school, she infuses her role with such over-the-top passion it becomes laughable rather than dramatic. Lacking any ambition or energy, I very quickly wished she would drown in the river alongside the play's titular wall. Rating one star. Damn. 
Damn, that is harsh. Jesus. Let's... Let's go talk to her about it. Uh, Joey? Head hey, up. is it just me, or is that the same kind of couch you've got at home? No, it's totally different. It is the same couch. Probably newer than yours. Better shape, too. Can we stay on task, please? Just saying. Free couch. If we could get get the couch, how would we get it home? How would we take it outside? We need people to do that. People ain't coming in here. Hello again, Mary. So, Mary? Uh-huh. I'm not entirely sure I like the fact that the um, dialogue choices are coming up in the middle of the screen now. That It's a bit awkward for me because I typically get a lot of my thumbnails from when the, the dialogue choices are up. So, um, oh dear. So I read that review of your show. You, you did? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mary? I thought I could get away from it. Become just another face in the crowd. Is that something you really want? No, just needed to get away. It shouldn't have followed me here. Nobody should know me here. Surrounded by people who don't know me, it's good that way. Better that way. People? What people? These people. Lost people. Like me. Alone, but not alone. Mary, I hate to tell you this, but there's nobody here. What are you talking about? Look around. Carefully, there's nobody here but us. I don't see what you mean. Yes, you do. Nobody's been here for months, at least. How could... They left me? They wouldn't have just left me here. Would they? Alone? I'm afraid they did. But you're not alone now. We're here. No, it can't be empty. That was the whole point. I can't be alone here. I can't. Where is everyone? Hey, do you know where everyone is? Gone, taken away, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm sorry they're gone. I'm afraid everyone's gone. Gone? Why would they be gone? And without telling me? Without me knowing? I would have remembered. I would have noticed. What did you notice, Mary? Huh? You weren't thinking too clearly before. You are now. Come on. Get away from me. I don't belong here. Not anymore. Oh, sweetheart, no, you... You can't run away from this. She's really close. They're gone. Everyone. Yeah. I remember now. I was cold, then warm, then... nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. That review, it seemed like it was everything. Now it's just nothing. To die over nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, my dear. Do you have anything else to it's say? It's time to go, Mary. Go. How? Where? I can't seem to leave this place. Joey? Mary, I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? Just trust us, Mary. We're here to help. Okay. Is it right? Is it right that this place should feel so good? It's where you need to be, Mary. That's all. I thought the Karth house was where I needed to be. After that review, maybe I would have been okay. The critic was an idiot. Are you okay now? I don't know. The the past is the past. I think I think what matters is the here and now. I don't think it matters. What matters is are you okay now? Yes. I've never been so sure of anything before, but yes, I'm okay. Listen to me. I'm dead, but I'm okay. It's time to go, Mary. Yeah. There we go. You okay? I'm fine. Did I fall? No, you're still standing. Don't sound so surprised, Joey. Mental control, that's all it takes. 
Yeah, sure. Let's get going. After you. That's cool. Lauren never figured that out. Oh. Hello. Can I help you? Oh. Oh, oh sh not yet. Hey, wait. Durkin. It's me. You need to send someone here right away. Someone's been shot. Shot? Who was it? What happened? I don't... Hello? Hello? Blackwell, what's going on? Um, sir? Hello? Are, are you... We're here to help. Don't worry. No, it's too late. We're not safe. Even Grace is not safe. I'm sorry, friend, but whoever Grace is, you're past worrying about her now. No, you don't understand. You don't. You'd be surprised what we understand. You? No. The Bestower. I need the Bestower. Bestower? You know about Bestowers? Uh, about us? I know enough, but not enough to save me. Well, it's your lucky day. We just happen to be in the saving business. You don't understand. They will find me. I hate to break it to you, but I think they already did. No. No. Oh my god. Holy. Did you see that? What was it? What the hell was it? Lower East Side, May 27th, 1931. So, I guess this is it. I believe so, my host. A tailor shop, huh? You think they've got anything in my size? A lost soul in need of saving, and you want to rob its place of business. Look at this dress I'm wearing. It's ruined. I figure I'm owed. Duty first, my host. Petty theft after. I'll see. What the hell? Um, okay. I'm, I'm kind of in shock. One. That says Malone. Malone's tailoring. Oh, oh, oh. Madeline. Jocelyn. We know the Countess's name. Jocelyn. Oh, I... I have so much I want to say I am out of time for this episode. Talk about starting the final game with a bang. Damn. Okay, in the next episode. Apparently we're in the 1930s. We'll figure out what's going on with that. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.